Terry Cutler is an international award-winning cybersecurity expert and ethical hacker known for his catchy online videos, numerous television appearances, live public speaking events, extensive coaching products, and top-level consulting services. Over the past 20 years, he's advised some of Canada's largest companies on how to prevent and remedy internal and external security penetration. For the general public, he developed an effective online learning program called Internet Safety University. With over 24,000 students from over 150 countries, he's helped educate his pupils on cybercrime, spying, security failures, internet scams, and the real social networking dangers that families and individuals face every day. Terry was named IFSEC Global's Top 20 Most Influential People in Cybersecurity for 2018 and again in 2019, and was also awarded 2017 Cybersecurity Educator of the Year Award. Please welcome your host, Terry Cutler. Hello, hello everyone. Happy Monday. Hope you're doing well. Um, can you guys hear me okay? You maybe could type in, yes, I can hear you or something in the comments. So why don't we just wait for a couple of people more to, to jump on. Um, today's video is going to be talking about how people's Instagram accounts are being hacked. So if you're serious about learning how to protect your Instagram account and your other accounts online, then one of the things I encourage you to do is check out a copy of my book called Internet Safety University, or sorry, The Insider Secrets to uh, Internet Safety, Advice from a Professional Hacker. So you can get a copy of the book at terrycutlerbook.com. So we'll just wait for a couple of folks to jump on. So one of the reasons why I'm making this video, okay, is because one, October is Internet Safety Month. And two, I, got, I must have got about 14 calls this month from people's Instagram accounts uh, who got hacked. And the majority of them had over 10,000 followers. So the common statement I hear from all these folks is that, oh, these sophisticated hackers got into my system and they're, they were so well prepared and they must have hacked Instagram to gain, to gain access to my personal account. And in the end, most of the time, would it surprise you to know that you probably gave them your username and password and you didn't realize it, right? So how many of you guys received a message from someone you thought you know um, saying, here, here's a, a link to a survey or a quiz or... Uh, or here's a video about you. So the moment you clicked on that link, it asked you to sign in, right? So when you when you signed in, you actually gave away your username and password. And a lot of them didn't have the advanced two-step verification system turned on on these accounts, which I'll cover today, and I'll show you how to turn that on. And, you know, the common feedback I get from this is that, well, I'm too small to get hacked. I'm a solopreneur or a small, a small business. Why would anybody want to hack me? And the reason is, it doesn't matter what size you are. You could be, you could be the, you know, the little grandmother that checks her emails once a month to a, a, a hundred-person shopper or bigger. It doesn't matter. The goal is to gain access to be able to monetize uh, your account. So a lot of times you'll get uh, comments where, you know, in order for you to get your account back, we're going to charge you five hundred dollars. So the scammer is actually charging you for this. And we've seen cases where people paid up $500 thinking they're going to get their account back, um, but they never do. Or if they do get their account back, they've left like a little back door where they can get access to the account again, lock it again, and charge you again. So I think there's two parts to this problem. One of them is that not many people care about cybersecurity until it's too late. And I think the, the second part is really my fault for not promoting cybersecurity awareness properly. Okay, so if you're serious about protecting your accounts online and, and more, then I encourage you to check out the book. There's the, it covers all these things and how to protect your family and your business and everything online. So when it comes to protecting your Instagram account, okay, so we all know that we need to create strong passwords, turn on multi-factor authentication, don't click on links you're not supposed to, watch out for suspicious emails or, or websites, ransomware, viruses, worms, Trojan horses, botnets, and zombies. <laughs> Okay, then you got to worry about what antivirus to use and, or, or trust. And trust me, believe me, I understand your frustration. Okay, I, I mean, are you feeling overwhelmed yet? I mean, put yourself in my shoes where I, I belong to these cybersecurity lists that give us updates on what's happening in the industry. And we must be getting easily 30 to 100 emails a day with new vulnerabilities are being discovered. Okay, and 
I get a lot of calls per year, at least a hundred calls or emails or some type of question that comes in and they all have a common theme. So the common theme or frustrations is that cybersecurity or internet safety is not interesting at all. And I agree with them. It's boring, but unfortunately it's a, it's a necessary evil because the, the cyber world and the, the, sorry, the virtual world and the physical world are now blended. Right, whatever happens in the virtual world can affect you in the real world. Um, they see no value because they don't believe they're a target. Right, they think they're too small to get hacked, and that's not the case because the cyber criminals know that you don't have the time, money, or budget or resources to be able to protect yourself against these types of threats. Um, the other comment I get is a lot of well, there's too much techno babble. Okay, so what does that mean? It's that the average person doesn't understand technology. Right, it's too technical for them to understand. So I'm going to show you a quick, uh, a quick example of, of what we mean here and how we can simplify this. Um, the other biggest problem they have is remembering too many passwords. Right. So what they do is they they write their passwords down into a into a password book, or they they um, or they have maybe a password manager, but their passwords are not very strong. So they reuse the same password everywhere for simplicity. And unfortunately, cybersecurity is not about convenience. Um, the other thing they notice is that they get sticker shocked when they see how much it costs to hire a cybersecurity expert just in order to help them out. You know, we're talking hundreds or thousands of dollars to be able to help you out. Um, they also get frustrated that the police won't help them, especially if they get scammed. Um, you know, in, in an upcoming video, I'll talk about uh, a person that was uh, a scammer that was using my photos to scam another individual out of $67,000 Canadian, okay? So uh, we'll talk about that in a future video. Um, the other thing I noticed is that they want help now and they don't wanna watch a video or a course that'll help them um, prevent this in the first place, right? They just, they don't believe it's gonna happen to them. They don't wanna watch no videos, just help me now, that's it. And they just want their situation resolved. I mean, they don't care how it's done. So let me just show you quickly how to turn on two-step verification for your Instagram account because it's very, very important because this way, if somebody gets a hold of your username and your password, and hopefully it's not a crappy password, they're not going to be able to get in without this advanced security feature turned on. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. And this is going to be a, a sample clip from my Internet Safety University training program, which currently has over 34,000 students from 160 countries in it. So check this out. Next, let's secure your Instagram account. It's so simple to activate this feature. On your mobile device, load up Instagram and then click on your profile character in the bottom right corner. Once you're here, click on the three bars icon in the top right corner. To enable this feature, click on settings, and then on security, and then on two-factor authentication. Now enter your phone number and you're done. Now, where's that guy that goes, right? <laughs> it's that simple. This little feature will prevent your account from getting hacked, okay? It's as simple as that. I mean, there's other things we have to look at as well. Uh, one thing is called the port out scam, which I had, I had a, um, a live, um, I did a live stream with a victim uh, early, uh, late last year that talked about the chaos that she went through when her when her one of her accounts got hacked and they got access to her security questions and they were able to transfer her phone number from one provider to another. And when they did that, they got access to all of her uh, banking information. They drained her bank accounts, uh, got into her Amazon account and PayPal and eBay, and they started buying stuff. It's, it's, it's a real mess. So I'll, I'll share more stories in a second. But, uh, but before I forget, if you want to learn how to avoid all this overwhelm and frustration, right, and, and I'll obviously skip the techno babble, then I encourage you to get a copy of the book, right, at terrycutlerbook.com. So let's, let's go into more examples of hacked Instagram accounts. They think, well, I'm just going to get my, my, my pictures taken and that's it. But remember, your Instagram account could also be linked to your Facebook account, which could also be linked to your Facebook ads manager. Right. And we've seen cases where this is what happened. An account takeover occurred and they started posting inappropriate content on the person's business page. 
And this can cause brand reputation issues, uh, loss of trust, and uh, could be ridiculed too, right? You, 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 you have to go and create a brand new account because you, got, you can't get it back. And um, I also saw a video recently of someone who got their Instagram account back and finally turned on two-factor authentication, which I just showed you. But then after she, this, this person was saying that, uh, you know, like they could see the hackers trying to get back into her account because every time they're, they're trying to get into her account, they see two-factor authentication alerts on their phone. And let me tell you why this is really bad, because this means that the password was never changed, right? And like most people, they reuse the same password everywhere. So that's why you need to be careful that, that your passwords are not being reused everywhere. And um, they get the, these passwords get leaked onto the dark web, by the way, and I'll tell you how this is done. What, what could happen is you use your personal account to sign into your Instagram account, your Facebook and such, but maybe you register an account at a real estate company. You want to get uh, alerts whenever there's a new house for sale, but you use the same email address there and you just happen to use the same password. But what happens here is that that real estate company will get hacked and next you know they get a, they get a hold of your password, they decrypt your password because it was, it was weak and they start signing into all of your accounts. So don't think that they're guessing your password. They're, they actually find your password because it leaked. So one of the common things is that people don't know how to create a strong password, right? They know they have to do it, but they have no idea how to get it done. They think it's too complex. So they just reuse the same password like John123 and then dash one and then dash two, dash three, as they change their passwords. Um, so to create a strong password, you want to have a mixture of uppercase, lowercase, and symbols in your password. Let me just remove this here a second. So you want to have a, a combination of uppercase, lowercase, and symbols in your password. And to be able to create a strong password, you want to have between 16 and 25 characters long. Now, I know what you're thinking, right? Is this guy nuts? Like, how are you going to remember a password this long? So if you can think of song lyrics or phrases, this is going to help you to create the strong password. So let's take an example together. A simple phrase. I had a great day at work, 2021, exclamation point. Okay? Really simple. So what you want to do is maybe replace, uh, just remove the spacing and capitalize each letter of the word. And this password alone will take 10 years to break. So since we're on this video, you want to up our game, you want to make your password even stronger. So one thing you can do is remove the, uh, the A's, replace it with an at symbol and remove the O's and replace it with a zero. And this password will take 39 centuries to break. Okay. And this is, um, but here's what happens when, when somebody hacks into a server, like the example of that real estate company or maybe a corporate server, this is what we see on our back end. Okay. We see, let's say this username Nina with all this gibberish. But what this means is that your password was too strong to crack. So the, these are called password hashes. And one of the things that an attacker can do is called a pass the hash attack. Now, I'm not talking about the good old college days here, folks, okay? This is an attack where we could take this information, pass it off to a server, and log in as you without ever knowing the password. So for those of you in Canada, uh, you may have seen the Canada Revenue Agency that locked over 100,000 accounts uh, many, many months ago. And this could be related to this type of attack. These passwords were too weak, and um, they leaked onto the dark web and started getting reused, okay? So to wrap this all up, you know, we learned that this could all be avoided just by having prevention in place first. But unfortunately, it takes something really bad to happen before you turn into an advocate. Okay, so that's all I have for you today. So if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Will this live stream be available in French? Um, unless Facebook ads uh, or whatever social media account adds uh, subtitles, I'm not sure it will be. Perfect. Well, I also want to make this video short and sweet. So I really appreciate you, you tuning in and such. And um, again, don't forget to pick up a copy of the book at terrycutlerbook.com. And I'm going to leave you with a, a trailer to an upcoming video course that I'm putting together, a masterclass, which covers all of these topics and how to protect yourself online. So the first video is about the, the, the threats that you should be aware of that's actually happening to you. 
The second video will be about how to know if you're a potential target of a cyber criminal and, and actually what, what tools you can use to protect your computer to, uh, to see live threats. And in the third video, it's how to lock down all of your accounts. Okay. And all that's free. And that'll be available at internetsafetyuniversity.com. And I'll, there'll be a link at the end. So for now, thank you very much for tuning in and I'll see you next time. In a world of digital technology, it's easy to forget one sobering fact that our identity can be stolen from under our nose with one click of a mouse, propelling us into nightmares in just a matter of minutes, anytime, anywhere, and on any one of our darling gadgets. Hackers, malware, botnets, and all forms of digital threats are even more sophisticated nowadays, just waiting in the shadows for that one opportunity to steal your sensitive information. You probably clicked on something that you weren't supposed to yesterday. Or maybe you've become a victim of a scam recently. In fact, Symantec calculated that 14 adults become a victim of a cyber attack every second. That's more than a million attacks a day. Your life can be in a completely different place just by how you protect yourself online against cyber criminals. Every day we're surrounded by them and use them. Cameras on our devices and set up for security, but not all are safe from other people. Computer hackers have caused headaches and caused untold losses for countless companies, individuals, even governments. He's got lots of tips for how to protect ourselves. Ethical hacker or cybersecurity expert Terry Cutler is here today. One of my roles as a government cleared ethical hacker or cybersecurity expert, if you will, is to help educate and promote great digital hygiene and internet safety awareness training to the general public in layman's terms. And this is being done through my online videos, numerous television appearances, live public speaking events, extensive coaching products, and top level consulting services. In my masterclass, I'm gonna give you all the strategies and tactics that I developed as one of the top cybersecurity experts in the world. You're gonna learn everything from how cyber criminals are preying on you, stalking you, spying on you, frauding you, hacking you, and what you can do to prevent them from making you their next victim. You'll also have an understanding of how and why hackers are getting in and staying undetected for months and years, and how to create a powerful protective layer that will take online hijackers centuries to break. And by the end of this course, you'll be more proactive, informed, and knowledgeable in maximizing your online security to the next level. I mean, you're going to know stuff that 95% of the population doesn't even know about. And sometimes people say to me, I'm too small to get hacked. I'm just an individual. Who's going to want to hack me? That's just not the case, okay? Cyber criminals know that you don't have the time, budget, or know-how to prevent a data breach or becoming a victim of their next scam. That's why there's been over 445 million cyber attacks against remote workers just since January. Why does it matter to you that you should get better at cybersecurity and internet safety? Because however your life is now, you can do better. I'm Terry Cutler, and this is my Internet Safety University.